Cindy Royal, and I'm here with Jonathan Carroll of Gowalla, and we're going to talk about our panel for South by Southwest Interactive, Rockin' the Check-In, Location Services for Musicians. So yeah. thanks for coming, for allowing us to come here today and talk to you, Jonathan. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. And we, we actually have the double panel one, don't we? Didn't we twist our arm enough that now we have a dual channel panel? So we're technically interactive and music. So if you're coming to South by Southwest for music or interactive, it's the last day of interactive, first day of music. Make sure you're there. We're, uh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, Tuesday at 3.30, yeah, I Tuesday. think, is our time. Uh, I, they haven't given us a room yet, have they? I don't think they have. No, I haven't, I haven't seen the schedules. They're still working yeah. on these things as we speak. It's funny because they actually have given uh, rooms to all the um, panels for music already, like that are strictly music. And I'm like, how do they schedule that and not interactive? That comes last. So. They're separate. They're separate yeah. entities. They really do act as separate the animals. Music people got their stuff done. That's what it was. <laughs> it's, Katie. It's smaller. <laughs> I'll, gi I'll give you interactive people a break. Um, so I first started getting interested in this idea when yeah. I met your CEO, Josh, uh -huh. a year ago yeah. at, South, at by South by Southwest, and he had mentioned just some idea about musicians using location services, which really piqued my interest, mm -hmm. and then he put us in touch, and yeah. we've been sort of brainstorming ideas for the past year. Definitely, definitely. And it's been an interesting thing because last year at South by Southwest, the whole idea of location-based services like ourself or Foursquare or Looped or something like that, they were just then kind of among the tech community, people were really saying, okay, so these are going to be accepted and we're all going to wind up using them. But still for us to be able to say, okay, now how's a, a musician or a theme park or something like that going to use these services, Goala or, or whomever, it still was kind of a new idea. So it, it's been interesting to see what's happened in the last year. And it's been interesting on two channels, I think, because on the first channel, you look at basically the mass adoption of services like Gowalla and Foursquare, that people worldwide in over 200 countries at this point are using our kinds of services for all sorts of things, to find out where they want to go for coffee, to hook up with a friend, to go someplace new for dinner, to help plan their vacation. All those things people are telling us they use Gowalla for. But on the flip side, while that mass adoption is happening of services like Gowalla and Foursquare, the music world itself continues to kind of suffer. And a uh, guy, uh, this is what I was talking to you off camera about just before we started, Mark Mulligan of Forrester Research, he had a report come out recently that basically said, you know what, digital distribution is awful, it's, if anything, hurt music, and I don't know that he was necessarily propping up the CD format per se, but it, 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 uh, he kind of opened a can of worms of, okay, there's still all these problems, and we music has got to come back to the idea of experience. And that's what you and I have talked about so much in the last year of how can musicians, whether it's somebody massive like Weezer or Coldplay or Big Boy, or whether it's somebody that is a local band like Quiet Company or Black Lips or somebody like that, how can they use a service like Gowalla to enhance that experience? Because that's what our generation is saying right now, a generation that doesn't particularly care whether their music was acquired on iTunes or at Waterloo or off of BitTorrent a band still wants to connect with that user so that they can build loyalty there and that they can build you know, a life experience with that user. And so how do you do that? And uh, I think our panel is going to have some thoughts on that. Yeah, I agree. And uh, my role on the panel is basically going to set the stage. I know a lot of musicians. I go out a lot to hear live music. And so I understand about the fan experience as well. Yeah. And so I'm going to try to set the stage of the challenges that they're facing now and how um, we can kind of lead into some of the things you'll talk about in terms of projects and the future yeah. of how they can use these services. Do you have any specific examples of things that you've tried over the past year since we first talked that um, we'll be talking about on the panel? Yeah. Yeah, it, it definitely has been. Um, we, I think when we first talked, I don't think a musician or band or anybody had actually used any of the services out there to really highlight a tour or even just a single concert yet. And since then, we've definitely seen on our platform and um, on, on others also of musicians and bands saying, okay, how can we use this? We've had bands on Gowalla that have said, okay, what we want to use um, Gowalla for now is to highlight every stop of the tour. Um, I think Weezer did it that way. Weezer decided they wanted to highlight every stop of uh, this particular tour on Gowalla, so it's its own unique place you can go and check in and experience. Whereas a different band, Jimmy Eat World, they said, you know, we think it would be cool for the fan experience if it was just one moving spot. So we wrapped up some technology together with the people over at Spot Devices to kind of say, okay, well, how could we do that? And so they've got a full integrated experience on their website and different things like that, their fan blogs. 
Um, and at the same time, we've also seen people using uh, our platform and others to uh, digitally distribute music as a result of a check-in. So that if I'm there with you um, at the old 97 show, I can check in and actually get some of the music I just heard live and you know, sent to me uh, if I'm on iPhone or if I'm on another device, maybe it's an available download right then. So I definitely think um, we've, e even though it's not, we haven't seen that happen as far as mass acceptance, mass usage of those kinds of things in the music world in general. It's being adopted by enough people right now. I know we're really gonna see that snowball in the next 12 months. Yeah, and I've been working on some things with old 97s and Quiet Company, so yeah. I'll have some examples of artists on a different level than, say, Weezer and Jimmy yeah. World and how they might be able to use it. And yes, we will be talking about other platforms in yeah. addition to Gowalla, different yeah. types of services. What kinds of things are you seeing as emerging in the future? I really do. Um, you know, I, I suspect that as it comes to, like, concerts in general, we're going to see people using that as as a way for them to get creative about how do we interact with a fan. I mean, whether it's uh, using, uh, you know, not to just push out Gowala there, but using Gowala notes. You know, what if, um, what if Rivers Cuomo decided he wanted to leave notes for all the fans that checked in? He could do that. Um, I think another thing is, and we haven't seen anybody really do this yet, and I, I would love to see somebody do it to use New Music Tuesday or to use the launch of an album as a way to get people to go out to a record store, check in, maybe they're tweeting, I'm out to get the new national album, and then they get something from the band as a result of that. So I think we're gonna see on those two fronts, particularly on music release days and on uh, venues slash concert stops, we're gonna, I think we're gonna see a lot of interesting things in the next 12 months. Okay, great. I'm, I can't wait. It's on Tuesday. I believe that's March 15th mm -hmm. at 3.30. So hopefully you will join us for Rockin' the Check-In Location Strategies for Musicians. Thanks.